This is error 1976s half dollar in PR65, red and brown condition, elusive specimen double struck on a sand planchette. According to Heritage, bicentennial half dollars were struck for only two years, 1975 and 1976. The short-lived type is seldom encountered in off-metal form, particularly with a widely separated double strike. The first strike was widely off-center toward 7.30. The second strike is moderately off-center toward 10.30. From the first strike, portions of Independence Hall remain at 1.30 and 3 o'clock, and portions of Kennedy's ear and neckline are present near 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock relative to the second strike. This one was sold for $5,280. Here is 1974 Jefferson Nichols struck on a 1974 Lincoln set, graded in mint state 65 red and brown condition by NGC. An impressive double denomination 6 cent piece. Lincoln statue can be seen within the pillars of the Lincoln Memorial across the jaw of Jefferson. On the reverse, Lincoln's beard and bow tie face south near the steps of Monticello. Portions of one cent and in Godwood Trust are retained from the cent strike. This error nickel ended up selling for $5,040. Number 13. This is 1966 Washington Quarter in mid state 68. The 1966 Washington Quarter was struck in staggering numbers. However, numismatic interest in the issue as a whole was generally non existent until the recent escalation of registry set competition. Decades of commercial use reduced what might have been a universal common coin to one that is conditionally rare in topmost grades. PCGS reports six coins in MS-68 with just single finer. It was sold for $5,760. Number 12. 1970s Lincoln sent with double die of verse, graded in mean state 65 red by PCGS. Die doubling on this cherry pickers variety is strong, owning God with trust and liberty, with lesser doubling on the date. Satiny copper orange luster complements boldly struck design elements with no major abrasions or spots. Eye appeal is tremendous. It was sold for $5,520. Number 11. Here is one tens of Balboa struck on a proof US dime planchette, graded as PR67 by NGC, a nearly pristine representative of this scarce mint error, struck on a proof dime planchette and clearly is a product of decidedly bold strike as would be expected from any modern proof. Flashy with a hint of subdued haze appearing to lend steely blue appearance, creating a wholly intriguing representative, booming with visual character. It was sold for $6,000. Number 10. Here is 1976S Silver Bicentennial Quarter, graded as MS69 by PCGS. The silver 1976S Bicentennial Quarter is an issue not typically seen in an auction setting. Unless, of course, it is PCGS certified MS69. This top grade registry coin is frosty and brilliant, showing a sharp strike and virtually flawless surfaces. It was sold for $6,600. Number 9. This is 1969D Kennedy Off Dollar in MS67 Plus condition. Those building a color set of Kennedy Offs can add a capstone to the collection with this plus graded 1969D which is imbued with fiery rainbow colors on both sides. Struck with silver content, the 1969D is important as a final Kennedy Alf issue, earmarked for commercial circulation with that alloy. It is also one of the rarest dates in the series, in MS 67 or finer condition. It was sold for $6,600. Number 8. 1963 Franklin Half Dollar in MS66 condition with full bell lines. The final year issue from the Philadelphia Mint is challenging to acquire in gem or better full bell lines grades. Both sides are sharp and satiny, showing brilliant mint luster. Not a single mentionable abrasion is noted. It was sold for $6,600. Number 7. This is 1977S Lincoln Sand struck on a 10-cent planchette, graded as PR68 Ultra Cameo by NGC. 
A remarkably attractive silver-colored sand showing liquid-like mirroring throughout the fields and frosty luster across the brilliant devices. Detail is sharp and contrast is dramatic on both sides. The lower overs and upper reverse rim is incompletely filled by the dime planchette. It ended up selling for $7,500. Number 6. Here is 1971 the Eisenhower dollar in mean state 6 to 7 plus. The clad Eisenhower dollar issues as a whole are conditioned rarities in top grades as they were produced at high speed with no concern for quality. Unlike the collector pieces issued each year in San Francisco, the 1971 Philadelphia and Denver dollars were likely saved in higher quantities than their later years. This amazing superb gem is a stunner with pristine and highly lustrous surfaces that display brilliant gold, lavender blue, maize and rose toning. It was sold for $10,200. This is Bicentennial Canada of Dollar. 1976 S50 cent piece in MS69 condition. The nation's bicentennial celebration was widely celebrated at the time and special reverse designs for the quarter, half dollar and dollar were created to mark the occasion. The coins all showed a dual 1776-1976 date on obverse. The half dollar reverse was Independence Hall. A centerpiece was designed by Seth G. Huntington. In addition to a regular issue clad coinage, 11 million silver clad uncirculated specimens were struck and offered in sets and 4 million silver clad proofs were struck for collectors. This magnificent silver-clad MS69 specimen exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout and virtually flawless surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $9,600. Number 4. Moving on with his 1979 $80 overstruck on a 1978 Washington Quarter, so-called double denomination coin, graded in mean state 67 by NGC. Some letterings of undertype can be seen under close inspection. Washington's head facing down is overlapped by the eagle of Anthony Dollar on the reverse. This amazing error coin ended up selling for $13,200. Jefferson Nickel in mean state 66, highly soft after repunch D over D mint mark. The repunching is clear with a loop, but may escape detection by unaided eye. Each side is brilliant and satiny with slight reflectivity discerned in the fields. A few tiny marks are not bothersome, although the steps of Monticello exhibits a typical softness. This coin is otherwise well struck and pleasing. It was sold for $19,800. Number 2, this is 1969S Lincoln Sand with double diverse, graded as MS63 Brown by NGC. The doubling is plainly visible on the date, Liberty, and in God would trust. PCGS estimates that only about 30 examples of this variety are known, and it is ranked second in Schechter and Garrett's 100 greatest US modern coins. Third edition, surpassed in importance only by 1975 Noah's proof time. They write, it is definitely the most valuable Lincoln scent variety and among the most rare. Discovered in 1970, the variety was initially declared a counterfeit by US Secret Service. However, the service later reversed its position when it was confirmed that the variety was a genuine mint error. In the decades since, the double dye popularity has ballooned among collectors, compounded by the fact that few additional examples have ever been discovered. This rare specimen was sold for $37,200. Number 1, and this is famous 1968 Noah's Roosevelt time, a proof error variety in PR69 grade with cameo designation. The 1968 Noah's Roosevelt time proof is ranked the third in Scott Schechter and Jeff Garrett's 100 greatest US modern coins. Dimes were struck from an obverse die that lacked the S mint mark. It is easy to see how this error could have occurred. All dies are made at a single die shop in Philadelphia and then shipped to the branch means where the dies are used in production. Coinage of this year was the first time that the missing mint mark error could have occurred on a US proof coin because this was the first year that these coins had mint marks. This rare example features perfectly black and white surfaces with tremendous cameo contrast. 
an imported modern rarity in essentially flawless condition that was sold for $45,600. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on fascinating world of collecting. Take care.